Various movements in the lower limb joints are we first start with the hip joint. Hip joint is a ball and socket variety of joint. The movements permitted are flexion and this flexion can be done with the knee extended or with the knee flexed. Extension when a person is standing straight or even when the leg is taken back. Abduction the leg moves away from the median plane. Adduction when the, both the limbs come together. Medial rotation and this is lateral rotation. And this particular movement is the circumduction. The muscles responsible for flexion are chiefly the iliopsoas, for extension gluteus maximus muscle, for abduction gluteus medius and minimus muscles, for adduction the adductor muscles, adductor longus, adductor brevis and adductor magnus, for medial rotation anterior fibers of gluteus medius and minimus muscle and for lateral rotation the short lateral rotators that is piriformis obturator internus and the gemelli. The knee joint is a condyloid joint it permits the flexion and extension. Flexion is done by the hamstring muscles the biceps femoris, semimembranosis, semitendinosis and part of the adductor magnus extension is done by the strong quadriceps femoris comprising of four heads the rectus femoris, vastus intermedius, vastus medialis and vastus lateralis. In the locking of the joint which is part of the extension of knee joint, the vastus medialis fibers act to lock the joint. The unlocking of the joint is done by a small muscle which is known as the popliteus. Coming to the ankle joint, the movements permitted are dorsiflexion and plantar flexion. Dorsiflexion when the foot comes close to the front of the leg and plantar flexion when the foot the sole points downwards. The muscles responsible for dorsiflexion are tibialis anterior, extensor hallucis longus, extensor digitorum longus and peroneus tertius. For plantar flexion the, the muscle responsible is the strong tendocalcaneus which is lying at the back of the ankle joint. Another movement which is, which is at the subtalar joint is the inversion of the foot. In this the medial border of the foot is raised up and is caused by tibialis anterior, anteriorly and tibialis posterior at the back. The other movement is the eversion of the foot. When the lateral border of the foot is raised up and is caused by muscles on the lateral side that is peroneus longus, peroneus brevis and peroneus tertius.